What is up my beautiful booze? Welcome back to the channel. So the other day I was shopping on Nike's site because I need new sneakers because I need more than two in my life. So I was doing some browsing and then I ended up looking at like their other stuff and came across some really cute pieces that I just had to throw in that freaking car, girl, you already know. I haven't shopped Nike in mad long. I think before COVID from like TJ Maxx, so I think I got a Nike something or another. So it's been a while and I wanted to check them out and see what's up. So it's safe to say we got a pretty decent haul. We got some sneakers, sweats, leggings. These are all from the US website, all brand new releases. So I don't know if it differs from country to country, but just know that I got everything through the US website. So without further ado, let's just do it. Definitely hit that subscribe button, follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, because together we got this. Let's do it. I will have absolutely everything you see today linked from the US website down below just for your convenience if you wanna check it out. All my measurements will be down in the description box as well. I got everything today in a size small. So that's my true to size, girl. This is how I like to do things. Just stick with my true size to see what fits, what doesn't, and if it's true to size. Let's start in the honor of spring and summertime. Hurry the frig up, spring and summer. The shorts, shall we? I'm gonna start with the tighter fitting shorts. I got a pair of biker style Nike Pro shorts because I want mint chocolate chip in my life, duh. These are the Nike Pro 365 shorts. So seven inch inseam, a little longer. It only has about a two inch elastic band, but it is high rise and I love high rise. I love it. So these shorts, they fit great. They are like body fit, super elastic, very wicking. Freaking gorgeous for crying out loud, I would say. They do not roll up even doing like heavy squatting or jumping. This is Nike's famous dry fit tech type of wear. So it will, you could even just feel it. Like it's straight up a wicking machine. However, here's where the problem lies for me. If you're wondering if it gives you a camel toe with that seam, the answer is holy shit, yes it does. I think I would have been sold on these shorts if it wasn't for the dreaded CT. It gives me the worst dreaded camel toe in history. Ow, feels like I'm in the Sahara Desert with the camel toe. Too much camel toe going on around here, too much camel. I don't have time for that. Not totally squat proof at all. They're not like the most flattering on the peach. These will definitely get the job done, don't get it twisted, girl. But for the peach purposes, you know, like lifting and making it look real tidy, not really. <laughs> These are actually more or less like shorts that I would wear to just like put a baggy hoodie over. It defeats the purpose, doesn't it? I actually really appreciate that they do not restrict around the quads. They pretty much lay nicely over and they don't give me the quad muffin top. Cause I'm sorry, but that shit makes me mad and secure. All right guys, so I got Nike sportswear shorts. Check these babies out. I love shorts in the summertime, especially like loose fitted shorts where I feel just mad carefree. Like I want to feel free as a bird. I straight up had to have these for that quilted look. This is like luxury status sweat shorts. They are so freaking comfortable. These might be the most comfortable like loungewear shorts I've ever worn. They have an all over quilted satin stitch. And the logos are literally woven glitter. If this ain't the most luxurious thing I've ever put on my freaking body, girl, like, I don't, frig, I don't know. So on the one side, you actually have Nike written out in cursive, almost like that old fashioned like baseball text. And then on, on the other side of the shorts, you just have that classic Nike check mark logo. You have the really nice just band stretch, a little bit ruffled, there's no annoying drawstring in here. It just is as is. Fits completely true to size. I love it having it a little bit baggier and it gives just like a really flattering look. Like that casual like, I'm not trying too hard, but this still makes me look good AF. It is 80% cotton and 20% polyester, but the inside lining is freaking fleece. So it is ultra soft and ultra warm and cozy. This is something I would want to wear like even summer or winter. Like it doesn't even matter. This is like an all year round. If you're a shorts lover, 
and you want a really nice, like you're wearing a blanket for crying out loud. Yeah, Nike did really good on this one. Like I was shook. These are, these are keepers, hands down. Y'all already know when I saw these Nike essential sportswear jogger pants, you know I hit add to cart faster than my brain could freaking actually process it. Because when I saw these, I just knew they were cozy as f They are like a fitted jogger, but seriously so freaking comfortable where it's not crunching in at the waist. It's just enough breathing room, yet flattering, soft, these joggers are in this gorgeous coconut milk color with the really stark black details throughout. You have the black on the ends of the draw cords. You have the Nike logo, which is black. So subtle yet super there and noticeable black accents that just kind of just pop at you. They have that semi brushed fleece. So it's still very warm and soft, but yet still lightweight enough to be classified as lightweight joggers. They don't bog me down. They are comfortable. They move with my body. They have a really nice stretch. Two built-in pockets. These joggers are amazing. I, I'm sold on them. You have a nice ribbed cuff at the bottom of the ankle, so you can kind of make them into capris or do whatever the frig you gotta do, girl. Overall, like squatting in them, moving around, they're ultra comfortable. Not something I would just sit there and work out at the gym in necessarily, but totally something I'd wear around the house, lounging, walking my dog if I had a dog. Just running errands in and still being fashionable, but yet super comfortable at the same time. Time! Oh, I was sold. When I put these on, I knew right away. I didn't even have to do anything in them. I said, these are absolute fire joggers. Overall, super true to size. I wouldn't size down, because I feel like it'd get a little too tight when I go to squat, but I wouldn't size up. I think this is the perfect, slight baggy look, and it really makes the hips pop. Girl. When I wear them, it just gives that sporty, like, illusion towards the hips, where I look like I have a small waist, big hips. That's what I like in you, and that's why I buy you. So I got a pair of leggings, girl. You know my hand too. I got the Nike Sportswear Tight Fit Leggings. Pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> These are in the color Canyon Rust. Grand Canyon, I've been there. Yeah, this is pretty uh, accurate. <laughs> and the classic white Nike logo here. Nike with the big check. I love this look. I love this look. More of this. These are high rise leggings. You got about a two and a half inch elastic type of band around here. I'm five foot three. They're a little bit long on me. Okay, everything else was great. These just slightly long, but then again, I'm a little bit of a shorty. There's really no compression in these <laughs> whatsoever. So these are not something I would work out in at all. They're not that kind of a legging. Number one, they're not seamless. So again, I got a little bit of a frontal issue here. The seam on the back kind of like tucks up into your booty a little bit <laughs> from the bottom. So I feel like it kind of kind of makes my peach look a little bit plump. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't super uncomfortable. But to some, like Bay says he thinks it looked like I had a little bit of a wedgie. I'm just saying, that's the look, Bay. You gotta get over that. This is mostly like a cotton blend too. They're not totally squat proof either. About 90%. All right, just about 90, nothing crazy. It's not very like workout material type. This is something I would just wear out casually, super casually meeting up with friends. You know what I mean? Like wear a pair of flats and sneakers, a baggy hoodie girl, and you will look really cute in these, but working out, nah. The front seam just ruins it for me. I gotta admit, I wanna see this legging, but without a front seam. Try to figure that out, Nike. Try to figure out how to do without that. I think front seams should just be illegal altogether, okay? So I also got a couple sports bras in the mix. One I'm wearing right now, as you can tell by me wearing it, I like it. This is the Yoga Dry Fit Swoosh. This was a definite hit for me because I really love having a variety of sports bras in my wardrobe. This is very like delicate and feminine looking, very yogi vibes. This is in the color sail, so it kind of just has that like off-white canvasy look like a sailboat. Sail. <laughs> this bra is specifically designed for yoga, hence the high neck, nice coverage, but yet super dainty, delicate little features on it. Anybody who's into yoga, calisthenic work, getting into those different positions, this is very, very much secure for that. It's really good for side boob too. At first when I put it on, I felt like there's a little room here, 
once I move my boobies around, <laughs> they stay put. <laughs> so it's definitely a nice like support. There is really no padding though inside of it. There's a mesh lining, but no actual bra pads, which I actually like that for moving around for yoga. You don't want to move around, get bra pads moving all over, you know, counterproductive things like that. So this just moves with you. It's very, very, very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, there's two pedal cutout designs, one on the front, one on the back. You got the smaller one in the front and the bigger one in the back, perfect for ventilation and breathability. Made out of polyester and spandex, so it's got really nice wicking capabilities, very stretchy overall, a nice supportive sports bra. And the band is about a two inch band, very elastic, stretchy, so holds my girls just right. Okay, so this other sports bra, I'm still on the fence about, and I don't know, you guys gotta give me your opinion on this one. Is it a keeper or not, ready? This is the Indie Ultra Breeze Sports Bra. I got this to match these mint chocolate chips, okay? You have that real minty outline in the sports bra, along with more of a richer, almost like emerald green. It's beautiful. This sports bra caught my eye, and I was like instantly sold. I had to have it. If I didn't have it, I'd be upset. So it's very, very much delicate, extremely lightweight, and there's so much going on in terms of design here. Talk to me about this freaking intricate design we got going here. You got mesh all up and down this thing. You got an insane amount of straps, all breathable straps. A nice breathable backing, mesh band in the front with the Nike logo. Everything is just one big like airy vessel, if you will. Okay, I'm going with that. It's got a moderate lighter type of support, but it works for me and my small toddies. These do have removable bra pads in them, but they're super light. Like you would never know that they're there. This would have been a winner winner chicken dinner kind of sports bra if it wasn't for the like straps in the front of the chest. They're sexy as hell, but unless I actually pull down the sports bra and lay it flat on my boobies, they actually kind of rise up and get a little bit like, they get a little flappy here. And you know, I can't have that because it looks like a, like a mistake. <laughs> So I have to keep pulling the sports bra down to lay it flat, then it looks badass. But the second I just move around and get loosey-goosey, they're back up, you know, just pissing me off. So other than that, super comfortable, feels like you're wearing nothing at all, like a freaking feather, but can't look past those straps. What do you think? Oh, these are the Nike Air Max 90s. I think you know why I got these, right, girl? I mean, if you, you've you been following me for a while, I think you know why. Can you say bright freaking colors are life? Spring and summer, here we come, baby, in style. What is that on the bottom of my shoe? I feel like a kid again. These remind me, bring me back to my childhood, those good old days, Nickelodeon days, all that, mm, slime, yeah. These are specifically designed for that OG 90s style inspo, like a spinning image of like a 90s kid right here. And I was born in 89, but I lived through the 90s in my childhood, best years of my freaking life. So if you're familiar with the Air Max, it's really good for running. It's like a nice Nike running sneaker. But over time, they transformed, made it a little more stylish. For me personally, I wouldn't necessarily be running or anything in these. These are more of a fashion statement. These are more, you know, wear it with some jean shorts or something casual, joggers, things like that. This has a very much like kind of bulkier, that 90s bulky style. You have a really like low cut around, especially on the back. That's where things tend to dig up in my Achilles tendon, and this does not do that. So very comfortable. I got them in a size US 6, which is usually my true size. And when I first put them on, they felt a little bit tight. I said, oh crap, I might have to return these and size up. But after really moving around in them and breaking them in a little bit, which I noticed Nike is like that, where at first I feel like my true size is tight, but you just move around, bend it around, and it starts to fit. You just gotta break them in a little bit, no big bang. Of course you got that classic Air Max like spring right in the heel area. So you got a little spring in your step there. I really wish this was light up. Then I think they would be picture perfect. Other than that, they're like 99.9999% there. So there's a really good amount of traction for walking and moving around. Not totally breathable, like what I'm used to with my like running sneakers and things like that. I usually go for very lightweight sneakers. This isn't totally lightweight. This is more or less like, fashionable for show kind of sneakers. That's what I'm using it for. But number two, 
These babies I absolutely will be training in, that's for sure. These are the Air Zoom Super Rep 2s. Tell me that Nike didn't specifically create a sneaker for HIT workouts. Tell me they didn't make a sneaker for HIT. High intensity interval training, guy, you get me. Nike done did it again. First of all, just look at these. Like, just really look at these, okay? These are freaking innovation at its finest. Holy wow. I love the color too, mind you. You got that really nice, like, off white light color and then you got that pop-up neon coral color and it's just literally it's just my vibes all up and down left and right this baby is like giant mesh super breathable because your feet gonna sweat when you do high intensity girl you already know the real focus on these shoes more than anything though is what's going on on the bottoms here holy shnikes shnikes Nike. you got like dual spring action like shock absorbent stabilizers on the sides of both of these sneakers like towards the front so that when you do your shuffles and your fast move side to side whoo, it keeps you from toppling over i know for me with other sneakers when i try to shuffle the sneakers just don't really work with me or for me <laughs> they work against me and i feel like i might twist my ankle sometimes that's why i'm like iffy about shuffles but testing them out in these babies, they really help me just kind of bounce from side to side. They give me that grip, I should say, more than anything. So when I'm shuffling, it's just gripping me to the floor, keeping me stable so I'm not falling over from momentum and lack of stability in the sneaker. So I gotta hand it to them that these are friggin' awesome. This design is meant to just redistribute energy, like give you that momentum and let it work for you, spring you back where you need to be. This shoe does the job. I was a little bit like iffy at first. I said, give me a freaking break, like, this for real? But actually testing them out, I can feel the difference, absolutely. So these are something I would specifically wear for hit training, intense movements fast paced movements, lots of body work here, okay? Lots of cardio and things like that. Even the bottom of the toes here is extremely bendable, almost separates from the rest of the bottom of the sole. This is perfect if you're in a plank position or doing mountain climbers, kind of gives you that bendable action on your sneakers that you need to perform the exercise to the best of your potential. Like this works with you. This is good for people who like to jump rope as well. Like that sole will work for you. You can feel it in your step when you get onto your tippy toes, you can feel the separation in the sole. The crisscross on top here is really awesome because it helps to just keep your, your feet snug so they're not like moving around and, and getting all weird within the shoe. It keeps it nice and wrapped up in a sense to just kind of keep it nice and tight. The actual tongue as well is stitched in as one whole, where it doesn't move around at all. It's not gonna slide from side to side. This is a very much like put together sneaker where nothing's gonna bunch up, get weird, twist and turn all over on you. It really is just to help you with your performance. All right guys, so that was it. That was the Nike Spring New Release haul. What are your thoughts? I gotta admit, there was some hits and misses for sure. I am definitely keeping the sneakers without a doubt and the sweats, the sweats, and I mean the sports bra, I'm just keeping it too, man, okay? But I wasn't totally sold on like the leggings and things like that, the shorts, those mint chocolate chip shorts, I don't know, the front seam on those just, it just killed it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.